Hey guys, this is my review of um, the Arai Quantic um, helmet which meets the new ECE 22.06 standard. So I got it because um, my old helmet, my previous helmet, which is the Shoei RYD, was um, about three years old, still has two years technically, but um, showed some wear with um, the faux leather material, but actually it's fine. Um, but I decided to upgrade anyway, just because of the new standard. Um, so to start with, uh, let's speak about the venting. <clears throat> so Arai gives you, this is my first Arai helmet by the way, so I, I will clear that up. I've never really, I've worn some, but I've never bought one. So this is the first time I'm in the Air Arai um, sort of camp. Um, so this got quite a lot of vents actually. So this, what I, I'm not sure, you can probably see them in other reviews, how, how many there are. They're like the two brow vents, two upper vents, a low speed vent here for city riding, which is new. Um, and a two position chin vent here and uh, also you can crack the visor in a, in a sort of semi open position so what I found is um, this chin vent is quite cool this is one of the few helmets that has a direct to mouth vents uh, or a vent that goes direct to your mouth which you can't really see here um, So maybe you can see it better there. You can see I've got a mic intercom installed too. Um, yeah, so this mic, uh, sorry, the <coughs> vent works well. The problem is with the two positions, sometimes I want to just demist the visor and uh, it's really difficult to get this middle position. You have to sort of bring it all the way open and then try to get it there. And you can't always tell if, if you got it right because you can easily make it crooked like that and um, yeah that doesn't doesn't really it feels cheap and flimsy for a helmet that's around 500 pounds in the UK so uh, it's strange but the rest of the, the build of the helmet is very high quality so that aspect's fine it just this does feel a bit flimsy and I know this is quite new for our uh, you this design they usually use a flip version um, which flips down like the visor which I'll go into so um, yeah this low speed vent actually is very nice um, it does work well but uh, I notice if you have the pro shield up um, all the way uh, it gets quite difficult to um, it gets difficult to uh, open or if you open it it's hard to close it basically with this up and um, so you have to shift that so that's the weird issue these vents feel again they feel these ones actually feel good quality versus the chin one however um, they've got two positions and they're again they're a bit a bit hard to get the position correct um, yeah so this visor this is the Pro sh um, Shade visor from Arai, which I bought with the helmet. Um, so I didn't use a stock one yet, but uh, so far it's good. These vents, however, again, are not very... Um, uh, I'm, I'm, they're a bit hard to use when the visor's open. You can't tell um, if you're getting wind from somewhere else or if it's these vents slipped open or something they're quite they're quite tough to open initially but now they're very loose uh, which is fine and you're meant to be able to position them like um, partially open like this and that and it's so it's so easy to open it's like if you're lifting this up you might accidentally nudge this with your finger so you can't tell if you've opened it by mistake and with this up in the way it gets a bit hard to um, reach them to uh, adjust them so it's a bit strange um, I have found when with the visor fully shut 
um, the steel is uh, okay this with the chin vent shut and everything shut you still feel a slight draft and I think it is there's a slight gap in the chin vent I'm not sure where air still goes through um, so you do feel a little bit of a wind but it's not um it's not unbearable when it's really cold um, the correct position actually allows quite a, a decent amount of air in more so I feel than the chin vent fully open which is strange um, so the direct vent, if you open it fully, it feels like a soothing sort of breeze. It's not too um, too cold or too direct. It's actually dampened slightly, so it's actually quite nice with this open fully. And I prefer that open rather than this position because um, the wind is a bit more intense and actually if it's cold, you do feel it um, in your face a bit with this position here. Um, yeah, and also, uh, you do feel this vent work as well which is quite quite good there is one um, rear vent in in here which you just open by sliding with a slider it has two positions but again this is actually quite easy to use it's not too difficult which i thought it may be um however it's uh, it's okay and i haven't noticed a super big difference but i haven't ridden with them um, with it open that many times so far I'll just show you a, an example of the original brow vent and the on the original visor that came with the helmet. So you can see this one slides up and down, it's a bit bit um, wobbly, but they had to do that for the Pro Shield to work. Um, the stock visor has two positions um, and it's, it's a rotational sort of vent. So it's a bit tricky again with the Arai vents. Um, however, it, I think this system's a bit better and more easy to tell than um, uh, the pro shade version um, so while I'm on that topic I might as well just give this a little review uh, I, f I actually quite like this system weirdly I've got um, helmets with internal sun visors and um, they were alright however I have to use a Respiro foggy mask to stop the internal sun visors from fogging during winter or you have to coat them with an, with an anti-fog and um, this doesn't matter because it's outside of the helmet and I find the middle position even on really sunny days actually quite nice to use um, it does a really good job of keeping you you know preventing you from getting blind and at night time actually is all right as always it sort of gives you like a tunnel vision so a focus so it's quite interesting in that sort of sense um yeah so so far i do like it and it does lock at the top uh the instructions tell you to pull it forward or something but um from both sides or something but i just find you just if you just pull it from the middle like that it sort of works um yeah so you can sort of get stuck um, yeah so other than the uh, obstructions with the vents slightly it's um, quite a good good system I, I actually really like it so far um, which I didn't think I would because it, it felt like a, a maybe a slight bodge on our eyes part initially but it actually is okay in the rain it hasn't even caused too much problem I, I haven't ridden with it down in heavy rain but like during some light rain and sleet I thought the double layering thing with water in the middle might cause an issue but it's actually not too bad and there's a little rubber gasket here which keeps a gap and uh, allows things to um, um, stay a little clearer and not smudged. Uh, opening the visor is is a bit tricky now so um, it shuts fine uh, sometimes it's a bit tricky to lock it as well which is a, a weird but I don't know why um, I found when I replaced the visor and swapped the stock one for this pro shield you have to put the oil they give you a silicon oil which you put on the sleeves that actually helps quite a bit um, with it locking and 
working smoothly, of course, well, as, as, as you'd assume, as they recommend it themselves. The visor actually comes with a little um, bottle of the oil. Um, changing the visor, taking it out is not too bad. It's like, um, it's an okay mechanism where you just press the two buttons. You can find videos of it, of the VASV system, but you press the two buttons, it pushes the plastic, you line the dots with the red ones and you can sort of like pull it out and um, when you're done, you line them up again, you push it in, put it all the way up and when it's all the way up then you can lock these side pods back. So it's, um, it's okay, uh, if I can get the side pods back on. Yeah, it's okay, however, as you can see, it's not really, there you go, it's not really, it's not super smooth, but it's um, not too bad, it's, it does the job fine, however, I should say my showy one, um, it's, it's way easier, I just, all the way up, pull it on, put, put the tab back in, and you just press it back on and there, there you go, it's just the visor back on. So um, the showy system on the RYD and NXR uh, is a lot more elegant but or quicker. But this is fine because I'm not going to swap the visor anymore with this Pro Shade sort of system, it doesn't matter for me. Um, I'll just take it off to clean it once in a while and that, that's about it. Um, yeah, so another point is this massive like aerodynamic piece, uh, it's quite quite big and when I'm putting the helmet in the top box it actually gets in the way sometimes, I can still do it, it's just, um, this is a small helmet by the way as well so it, it's a bit tighter than my other helmets because of this massive um, aero thing. I think it does help on highway speeds when I use that because I try to just you know point my head in sort of this sort of direction, and it felt fairly stable. But it's quite hard to tell if um, a helmet is better aerodynamics when you have another reasonably high-end helmet which has been air tunnel tested as well. So I can't really gauge if the showy felt better or not or this. They got different cameras and stuff on them as well, um, but it feels decent. Um, yeah, another thing I noticed as well, that the vertical height is, is taller, it's a taller helmet, so um, you can see it's slightly above the, the, below, sorry, above the showy, and again for the top box and stuff, uh, it does make a difference when you're trying to shut the lid, if it's a bit taller, um, but it, it's, you know, it's fine. So the, the weight of the helmet as well, that's one interesting element of this. It's uh, 1600 grams, which I think the Shelby was 1300 and I've got a, a Kberg carbon helmet, which was about the same or maybe a little lighter. And that one felt like you had nothing on your head um, until you had a camera and stuff. It literally felt, you can shift your head very easily when you're doing shoulder checks and stuff. This is actually quite heavy and uh, I know it's a trait of Arai to be I have a really tough shell and stuff um, but you do notice the way it's, it's a big beast on your head um, but um, physically it's not big but weight wise it is big um, or heavy so you do feel it but it does feel robust and it's not, it's not painful or, or uncomfortable it's um, uh, it's just uh, just heavy basically, so even when you lift it up like this it feels like, like it's got a fair bit of weight to it. Um, uh, yeah, however, well that's just how our eyes make their helmets I suppose. So um, other notable things I, I've seen. The chin curtain, which is quite nice, is not removable, so uh, this is a, um, uh, I don't know, it's this interesting design idea, but um, uh, it's, it actually works fine, uh, I haven't had any issues, it's good, it's good, it's not, it's not as um, deep as the showy one or 
maybe some other brands, but it's small enough that it will, it will help you with the wind noise, but also not trap too much air in to keep things fogging um, or from keep things from fogging. Um, also, there is a breath guard here, which I believe is not removable either. Um, I find it's um, well. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I may remove that if I if it is removable. I'm not sh I don't think it is though, based on instructions and stuff. I haven't. I don't want to risk pulling it because it's such a pricey helmet. Um, however, I think the breath guard would work. It works great with the pin. I never had a pin lock fog, and it's obviously a 120 pin lock, so it's um, a really good one. Um, also, it goes to the edge, which is a big plus point because the old Shoei, I know the new NXR is better, but the old one um, had a had a slight gap here, and uh, that would fog up, and you'd use some sort of anti-fog or something if you don't want it to fog up, and it, do, it did limit your peripheral vision by some amount, and I didn't really uh, like that at all, but this one, this Arai solves that. Um, but yeah, the breath guard, I did notice uh, when it's on one of the days, it was extremely windy. It was a really strong headwind and also um, I was on the motorway at the same time going against it. The, I would feel this on my nose sometimes. It's like, um, it's not too far. I, they've increased the space area around here for this helmet. However, um, yeah, the wind can blow it back enough to like start tickling your nose or something. So it's not like um, it's a bit strange that sort of phenomenon. And I guess you, my nose should technically be below this um, edge. However, um, that's what I just found happening when I was uh, riding it and stuff, riding with this helmet. I should also mention I I went from a transitions visor to this um, Pro Shield system. So the Shoei had a transitions visor and that was amazing. Like I, I really liked it and it still works after three years of using it quite a lot. Um, however, this going to this is, uh, hasn't degraded anything with the Pro Shield. It's actually, um, uh, it's, it's perfectly fine. I actually prefer it slightly because I think, I think the transition visors have a slight, very subtle tint still that's permanently in, in them um, whereas you have the full clear visor under this so you can it's more flexible and a lot quicker I guess to change between um, darknesses and stuff so uh, and you got a good mix with a sort of semi hood mode where it's like that um, so for that reason I kind of I don't know I think it's quite quite good the transition is really good as well but it's quite close like what, what I prefer um yeah so the lining is very thick as you can see here it's quite thick the padding versus my again my replacing outgoing showy ryd it's quite um a thin a thin lining comp compared to the array at the front towards here um with a with a um oh, what was my point it's um yeah it blocks the wind more basically i guess that's that's the main point so it's and it's much more plush it's uh, quite a bit softer um the fit is i think the f i would say the fit is very close between the two um i've got like a semi i don't know squarish long head so um, it fits well, and uh, it bl it really blocks the wind from here, which aids with the wind noise stuff, um, and obviously with the mini chin curtain. I did find the double D rings on this helmet do dig in slightly on my Adam's apple, and I didn't really like it. I thought it would. I rolled with it for a bit, and um, I got used to it. Basically, it didn't it doesn't actually cause any pain or anything. This strap is a bit like it's a very s tough weave, like a really thick weave. Um, it does get irritating a little bit on like 
my stubble or beard so um it's uh yeah it's interesting the showy is a bit more softer and other brands that had like kberg and stuff is like silky smooth so it's um yeah this this can get a little bit irritating and yeah, you can see the padding starts here so you feel this material uh you'd feel a little bit of this raw material on your chin or yeah around your chin so it might not be the most comfortable uh, it's got the emergency cheek pads which are which is good the cheek pads just come out by like sort of pulling down and out um, the one thing i really like about this is the intercom speaker pockets are like just round and they don't they don't, they don't have a very solid shape so you can fit uh, various speaker shapes like um centers come with a circle then it has like a little v lip at the bottom and the showy um, nxr and the raw ride and nxr2 they have round plastic molded pockets so the speakers don't fit in there without either modifying the speakers or cutting the plastic edges so it's not a perfect circle and has a little taper at the bottom to allow the speakers to connect um, with this it doesn't matter because it's just like a half circle and then it has plenty of space for any oddities in the speaker shape um, it's with the styrofoams um, the way it's been shaped so the speakers for this uh, bluetooth system fitted perfectly fine and as they say it's, it's designed to hold a bluetooth system like universally so they're not they're not affiliated with like senna or something so it makes installing one quite easy and quite pleasant in comparison uh, it has a pocket here somewhere for um, storing wires um, yeah so you can store excess cabling and stuff for your intercom in there as well which is a really nice touch and a feature so um, that's a very uh, yeah nice touch on this helmet and that was one of the big reasons why I went for this instead of the N NXR2 because I didn't want to go with the hassle of um, cutting the plastic or whatever to get uh, special intercom speakers uh, fix it, fixed on it. For the RID I used the old heads, the Bluetooth heads I had which happened to have round speakers and that fit perfectly so I got a bit lucky uh, in that case um, if you're wondering it's the it's the BT Freedcon one I've had Senna, I've got a Senna on my other helmet but I'm not a big fan of that because when the speaker stopped working uh, one other thing I forgot to point out was the glasses work really well with this helmet for me so um, they just slide straight into the gaps really easily and um, no issue there it's a bit more snug on the, the showy but on this one there's no issue the seal has been fine as well with the visor so far although I haven't paper tested it so maybe the paper could fit through the gap um, I did hear about some complaints of people having a, an ear gap with this sort of visor vas v system that I have so maybe that's an issue but I haven't had too big of a deal so far luckily no whistling no um, um, feeling of ear unless using this latch to open up the section of the visor so what's my final thoughts on this helmet um, it's expensive uh, the quality feels really good um, I got it at a slight discount so I was quite happy with that I do think it's um, a nice helmet for the, the the money it's probably worth it I've used it for long touring so far like a um, hundred odd miles or whatever not not super long and it's been really comfortable nothing's hurt me or an annoyed me that much uh, to be honest it's been one of the most comfortable helmets I've had for long for touring days and stuff and it's really versatile re really it's got a lot of um, features and stuff and can handle various situations and whatnot um, yeah, so I would give it a thumbs up. It's a good first experience in in the world of Arai. Um, whether I would 
carry on buying air eyes or still move to a showy later on I don't, i'm not sure um the showy helmet i had was really good too um i know i'm comparing it a lot those two but um it's uh it's um they're the best helmets i've owned basically so um i've had kbergs i've not had other brands like sharks or shark or whatever but these are is because they have way more shell sizes and a few other variables and it makes them a lot more appealing I, I don't, i've had kbergs with one shell size and stuff and i know they use two now but they're just two's not enough and you, you just have a massive head basically so uh i guess that's why i um try and get more premium brands now um yeah so anyway thanks hope you found the review interesting and uh what i'd say